the starting point for applying data loss prevention to Microsoft 365 Copilot is going to be in the Microsoft Purview portal and you'll need the appropriate administrator rights to go to purview.microsoft.com as I've done here. Now, what we need to do as a starting point is go to the solutions option on the left and select information protection. This is because um, DLP for Microsoft 365 Copilot requires sensitivity labels to be in place and basically applied to documents. So I'm not going to cover off how to create sensitivity labels. I'm just going to assume that they are already in place. Now you'll see here I already have a sensitivity label which I'm going to target called confidential. So your sensitivity labels need to be in place and also applied appropriately to documents in your environment. Now once we have that, the next step is to go back to solutions here and select data loss prevention. Now I need to create a new data loss prevention policy. So I select policies, you'll see I've already got two existing ones here. I'm going to create a new policy and that will take me through the standard uh, wizard here. So I'm going to go to custom and custom. I need to select both of these options here to allow me to do co uh, DLP for Microsoft 365 Copilot. I'll go next. Now I'll give the policy a name. So I'm going to call this Copilot DLP so I know what it is and go next. Now I can select to target this at admin units. I don't have any admin units in my environment so I'll go next. Now I need to target where this policy will be applied. Now you'll see I can target DLP as normal to Exchange, to SharePoint and so on. Right down the bottom I have Microsoft 365 Copilot which is what I want. Now you'll notice that when I select that uh, automatically all the others are basically disabled. So a DLP policy for Microsoft 365 Copilot can only target just Copilot. Now over on the right you'll see that I do have the actions that allow me to target this DLP policy at uh, different sets of users if I want but generally I would, I would recommend that you target all users and groups uh, but you can do uh, specific users uh, if you want. So once we've selected Microsoft 365 Copilot I go next. Now what I need to do is because it's a custom policy I have to define my DLP rules and settings. Now I need to go in and create a rule here. All right, so I'm going to call this, for example, something like rule one. And what are the conditions here? So I'm going to go down and say when the content contains, all right, scroll down here, and then I'm going to add the option for sensitivity labels. Now with uh, DLP for Microsoft 365 Copilot, that's currently the only option we have. When we select the sensitivity labels, you'll see there are the options that I highlighted when I view the overall sensitivity labels here. So I'm going to select that bottom one and add. So what that means is is that when content has a sensitivity label of confidential applied to it, and then if I go down here is what action do I want to take? And you'll see that the option app the action I want to take is prevent Cobilot from processing content. All right, and notice that again, uh, that is currently in preview. All right, so you'll see here, the action is only supported for labeled files in SharePoint and OneDrive, right? So again, keep that in mind. This technology currently is in preview. It'll be expanded over time, but for the current um, time, these are the only two areas that it will work in, in SharePoint and OneDrive. I can add more options. I can modify the rule if I want, but I'm gonna keep it simple and just use that and save that and then move on to the next area. So again, what I've done is create a DLP policy for Microsoft 365 Copilot and the criteria will be is it has a label, the document or the item or the data item has a label called confidential, then prevent Copilot from generating or using that to generate content. So here, you'll see here I get a summary. I can turn that on and off. I can also edit it, copy it, so on, but I'm happy with that. Let's go next. Now you'll see that with the DLP policy for Microsoft 365 Copilot, I can't put it into simulation mode. The only option I've got is to turn it on immediately or leave it off. I'm going to turn it on uh, immediately and you'll see it will uh, basically then apply. So that has gone and created, or that will go out and create and apply that DLP policy. 
Now, the important thing to remember is the DLP policy generally won't be enacted immediately. It might take a number of hours. It may even take a, a day or two for it to work through all the data, depending on the size of the data store that you have in place. I've gone done, and you'll see that the policy now appears there. I can go back in. I can edit it, change its priority, uh, and whatnot. So that is ready and good to go. Now, what I'm going to do is just switch over to another tenant where I have a similar policy already in place to show you what uh, actually happens once the policy has fully en been enabled. So in this case, I've got a document that is stored in my SharePoint environment, and you'll see that it already has a label called confidential. So my DLP policy in this tenant also targets a label called confidential. So this document here called uh, Copilot DLP Demo has the appropriate label for protection. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go to Copilot here. So what I'm going to do is I'll get the URL of the appropriate document that has the protection. And then in my biz chat here, I'm just going to ask uh, basically Copilot here to go in and summarize that document, right? So I've taken that URL. Let's go in and ask it to summarize that document. Let's see what result we get back here. And we should find that um, you'll see that it indicates to me that the document is currently protected and it can't use that document to generate new information. It gives me a link to the document. You'll also notice that it indicates that that document is set as confidential, which is what we expect, but you'll notice that you cannot generate information because the DLP policy is preventing that because the document in question has the label attached to it that the DLP policy is looking for, right? So in summary, how all of this worked, how we got to this point is we needed to uh, firstly start off by going into our purview portal, creating a new DLP policy that was targeted directly at uh, Microsoft 365 Copilot. And we did that thanks to the ability or the existence of data labels, which need to be in place prior. Once we have done that and saved that and applied that, we can then uh, make sure that if we do have a situation where um, the data that has been labeled uh, is wanting to be prevented from using within Copilot to, for example, generate new responses or to be summarized, um, once that DLP policy has been applied, you'll see I get that result where I can still access the document, do what I need to do if I have the appropriate permissions thanks to the label, but the label is going to indicate to the DLP policy that that document cannot be used inside Copilot to generate new information or to be used in any of the processes. That's really how simple it is. So the starting point is to create the DLP or is to have the data labeling in place first, apply to the data items, then create a DLP policy that uh, targets those particular labels, allow that to apply across your environment, and then any data that is labeled with uh, that uh, sensitivity label will be prevented from effectively being used inside Copilot. So that's what's involved there. So hopefully you've got an idea of how to set this up and what the results are when you do put it into play. And with all that, I thank you very much for watching this video.